one of the most raw and vulnerable things you can do with somebody is share music and create. And no matter what kind of art or no matter what kind of project, if you share your heart and your those the deepest parts of who you are with somebody else, it is it takes it to a, another level. And I don't know anybody else I could write music with. It is such a blessing. Something that's so unique and amazing is the deep-rooted friendship that we have. And when we started this project, we were roommates, we were best friends, we were training for an Ironman together. Like the the work, the music life, work life, and you know, personal life was all one. It it all just blended in. There weren't really any lines or boundaries of like, okay, we're in work mode now. It'd be, wake up, we're making coffee in the kitchen. Hey, this is an idea for a song. Let's write this. Storytelling is a huge part of what we do and how we feel connected to our audience and vice versa. Aubrey says this all the time. It's like we give people a permission slip to, to be able to express themselves or to step into their own power or to find their own passion and do whatever it is that lights them up. And our storytelling is a huge part of our performances. Our song Gold, which is one of our favorites, that was written for a friend of ours. One of our roommates was going through a really dark, challenging experience of her own, and we had a house meeting. And my sister said, I see your gold. And this friend is one of the most vibrant, bright, brilliantly beautiful people that we've ever met. And I see your gold. And I see your gold, and I see your gold. Oh, gold. So when we saw how much pain she was in and how clouded her vision was and not being able to see the beauty in herself, that was the perfect opportunity for us to say, we see you, we love you, we're here to hold you, we will carry you home. I think it also serves as a beautiful reminder to tell the ones that we're close to and the ones that we love how much they mean to us. And you know, when you are thinking about that person or you hear a song that reminds you of someone, to pick up the phone and call them. And it's really important that we reach out and that we just let people know that we're here. Our songwriting process is so different for every song and sometimes it's really quick and you know it happens in 10 to 30 minutes other times we ruminate on ideas for days or months and it's just all about giving the song room to bring itself to life I mean we say it all the time we're just channels for this music to come through us and it's the, the most cathartic way to live and to heal and to express and and what a blessing it is that we have the ability to share this gift we both take voice lessons from a world-renowned voice coach named Linda Bryce she said to me and we say this all the time now that music is a mystery and the mystery is that we don't really know how it's going to affect every single person. The music does what it needs to do once it's left us. I think that's one of the most beautiful things that I've ever heard, and I know that it's healed me in many, many ways. Love and it feels like it's love. My name is Kathleen Hooper. My name is Aubrey Mabel. And, and together, together we, we are, are Lady. And this is Women Up Front. I got a bad. <laughs>